has Triple H softened his stance on possibly bringing back CM Punk to the WWE. Hey guys, this is AW here, Aaron Warrior, bringing you Lane of SmackDown, my my wrestling channel, where I talk about wrestling. So here, hey guys, so if you're new here, subscribe to this channel. And also smash that like button, thumbs up, smash that like button, share this with your friends, family, colleagues, everybody, to get word around about my channel, especially if you're into wrestling and if the people you know are into wrestling. This is a channel for you and for them. But according to reports, Triple H, my soft, has apparently softened his stance on possibly bringing CM Punk in back to WWE. Now, let's get this. Now, let's, let's go back a couple days ago, about a week ago, actually. CM Punk and AEW are negotiating a buyout, right? He hasn't been released. He's negotiating a buyout, a mutual buyout. They want to make sure he does not go to WWE once he's officially gone from the company. That's the that's what AEW fear is that he'll go to WWE. That's why this buyout is taking some time. This negotiation. But according to this report, this is true. This is true. Triple H reported one nothing to do with CM Punk. Here, yeah, Triple H is not a fan of CM Punk. His the, the person Phil, the person Phil Brooks. Phil Brooks is what you see in character and outside of character in the ring and out of the ring, the real life and none. It's actually who he really is. He's he really doesn't play a, a, a gimmick on screen really. And and CM Punk had no, nothing good to say about Triple H, and Triple H doesn't. Yeah, there's Triple H didn't care for CM Punk back in the, the days of WWE. So according to a new report, Triple H was not interested in working with CM Punk earlier this year, but apparently that stance has softened recently. So maybe it's softened. Yep, they did whip at each other. Yeah, he called him a doofus a lot. The pipe bomb. Okay. So, according to Wrestle Votes on Twitter, let me, let me, um, according to Wrestle Votes on Twitter, as of July, Triple H won nothing to do with CM Punk, even less to do with the man behind the on screen character. However, feelings might have thought since then. My softened. And let me get this on me a whippy thing out of the way. You don't need to see that. I was told, I mean, pretty straightforward, that Triple H wants nothing to do with CM Punk, even less to do with Phil Brooks. Well, that's what I was told, and that was July. So that was in July. I did ask over the last couple of days, and it has softened a little bit. A little bit. A little bit doesn't mean much, really. From what I understand. I still think there's a monstrosity. I still think there's a lot of pieces that need to be picked up between the two of them, especially, by, especially, specifically, sorry. But Hunter learned from Vince McMahon, and Vince made amends with everybody. Yes, true. Vince McMahon has people he had problems with. He has made amends with them and have come back. So to say the doors closed is ridiculous on anybody's part, especially in this war that's happy right now. I always say never, say never, absolutely. Okay. He might have softened a little bit, but I'm, but I'm I'm not optimistic about this. I still think there's a lot of work to be done. I don't know. CM Punk is the same type of guy that would say no, 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 no. I'm not going back there. Not with not with hundred one inch things. I, I think CM Punk's the type of guy who holds grudges still, and I don't think he, I don't think he would go back to WWE. Honestly, I don't think he's the type of guy. He's it's just the impression I get from him. Now, if they do make amends, they do talk and make amends, maybe not agree to be like obviously best friends, but do his best for business and best for CM Punk's career in WWE. I mean, obviously, if he did, if he did, if something happened. He'd be huge in WWE. Obviously, a huge reaction. Ratings will go up. Massive. Massive. CM Punk would be huge. I mean, the ratings are already 
decent, but with CM Punk back, that's a mega draw. Mega draw. Because it's CM Punk. It would be, what, I don't know. If he came back in 2023, it would be like nine years? Nine years since he walked out after a Royal Rumble? But from what I get from this, there's not enough to hear the warrant uh, return. It's, it's, it's a big return. It just sounds like a small, soft and a little bit. It doesn't sound optimistic to me, guys. It doesn't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know it would be big if you did, but it's just a lot of work there to be done. And I don't see a CM Punk playing ball. Triple H maybe, but Punk no. No. I know even when Punk, Triple H winning things, I still I still think he still sees his son doofus at all. But yeah, there's nothing. Like, I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. But that's what I don't want to tell you guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I if tell me in the comments below. What do you think I'm going to even get from this video? Do you feel optimistic or pessimistic about him returning to WWE? You know my thoughts are pe- I, mean, I that doesn't that the little the little softening up doesn't by doesn't sound to me that all that optimistic. But you can tell me in the comments below, guys, your thoughts. And we all know if he did return, it'd be huge, it'd be massive, one of the biggest things in wrestling history. Him coming back to AEW was huge. That was big. But but WWE has a larger audience, worldwide audience. Yeah, you do the math there, guys. But yeah, take care, guys. This is the latest SmackDown. Make sure to subscribe, smash, and tell your friends. Take care, guys. AEW.